Hello, cellos. Today we're going to be working on A Westward Journey and Jubilee by Carrie Lynn Grussell. And we're going to be working on the passage from measure 21 through measure 49. Um, this is the first two T section, so everybody plays here up until there. It's just solo parts. Um, so this one starts out fairly um, fairly simple for the cellos. Um, you um, you have a couple of notes, a couple of measures are go, so... <laughs> Make sure you do those both down bows and then and then you are pizzicato. Now it does tell you to play DVZ, which means that you play either the top or the bottom of the pizzicato note. However, I would like to invite you to go ahead and play both the top and the bottom. This is a uh, there these ones are laid out in fifths, which means that they are straight across from one another on the string. And a good way to do that is to take uh, your first finger um, or whatever finger is playing them. I think that all the fingers one's fingered notes um, are first position first finger and you just what we call bar it over the the note so you take the flat uh, part of the finger instead of using the tip you just lay the flat part and then you just push both strings down so you can play both of them quite easily so I'd like to invite you to do that you do not have to but um, that is what I would do just to get a little bit more sounded resonance um, out of these notes so let's go ahead and um, I don't think that that part has, requires any further explanation. We're gonna go ahead and play through this at a slower tempo, and then we'll play it up to tempo. And um, I will demonstrate playing both of those notes. And um, also, if you have any questions of, about the rhythm, that should clear it up. Let's go ahead and go ahead now to um, pick up to measure 39. Um, so this one, um, is uh, this one has a few kind of tricky rhythms, some 16th notes in there and some dotted rhythms and some hooks. So pick up to 39 is the last note, last notes of measure 38. So then you got a measure of rest and then small chunks, one measure, two measures, and then make sure that you're staying in the lower half of the bow, uh, doing the hooks where they're indicated, especially on, when it's on the, uh, putting nice separation between those two notes. And then remember when it's measure 46, you've got a syncopated rhythm here. So we've got, so pick up the bow after the first note up bow emphasize that second note is, that is on the offbeat. And then uh, 40A. And there is a slowdown there going into the waltz. Um, pretty straightforward for the cello part. Let's go ahead and set our metronome at 100 beats per minute and we'll play all the way through this passage at a slower tempo. And then we'll try it with the backing track up to tempo. And uh, when we get to the pizzicatos, I'm going to use the first finger and the second finger. So the uh, the first finger will play the lower string, the second finger will play the higher string uh, for the two edges adjacent strings. Let's go ahead and start at measure 21. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and pits. There you 
is a retard, um, retardando there. Uh, measure 38, uh, the last couple of pizzicato notes because you don't have a lot of time to get to the, the get, to get the bow on the string, um, and it's an open string, I would suggest do some left hand pizzicato, whether it is all three notes, um, more time to get onto the string so you don't miss a note at the pickup to 31. Let's try it with the backing track. <laughs> Next week we will try the next section, the waltz section, which starts at 50. And um, that one's got a bit of shifting to fourth position for you. So something to look forward to and some lovely melodies. Um, so uh, I hope that you um, enjoy playing uh, the part from 21 to 48. Um, the pizzicato section is probably not going to take much time, so that'll give you plenty of time to work on the melody part, which is a little bit more tricky um, at 39. Good luck and happy practicing.